Welcome back to the program. Now, the government has been issuing warnings to KESC since the storm debacle of last week here in Karachi. Now, the Prime Minister and the President threatened to nationalize the electric company. Meanwhile, yesterday, we heard from Raja Parvez Ashraf after a particularly heated session at the Senate that uh, the w Minister for Water and Power was saying that, well, we can't nationalize it, but we may ask NEPRA to take control of KSC. But wait a second, wasn't that always the problem to begin with? Aren't government organizations, bureaucratic organizations, responsible for a lot of the messes that we see? That, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, for that, we have with us live in our Lahore studio, former managing director of Pepco Munawar Basir. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast at Dawn. Let's begin with that. Do you think that Raja Parvez Ashok will be able to fulfill his promise of uh, cutting load shedding by a December? I, I think the barometer is on the streets and as you see the people uh, are, uh, as we consider them, you know, we, they have the real uh, political sense now, they are aware and they can see things that are happening uh, in the parliament, in the government and on the ground realities on the street. So the comments I saw and we heard just now, uh, you know, from the people in Lahore specifically, and I believe Karachi would not be any different. They give uh, a more factual picture of what is happening on the ground. Uh, coming to the issue of whether we will be able to uh, end load shedding by the end of December, I think that is a far-fetched idea because what the government is saying is that they will be adding 3,500 megawatts. Now, 3,500 megawatts probably will not come. It is more like, I believe, 2,000 megawatts. And these are projects which have been in the pipeline. They have been going on. A lot of them have been delayed. The rental plants, which the government had planned, had not, have not come online yet. And there are some plants that are listed in that list of 3,500. Zorlu Wind Energy, they say 50 megawatts. They're only at 6. There is no way they will come up to 50. Some other rental plants... 100, 150, 200 megawatts that are part of that list. Again, if you go to the ground reality, the company doesn't even have the land. The equipment has not been finalized. It has not been shipped. So we are looking at 2,000 megawatts and then come in, uh, depending on how, what the monsoon season is, how much water we have in the dams, how much water can be released in December to uh, supplement the thermal generation. That will decide whether how much load shedding there is. There will be load shedding, but how much of it, it will be decided at that time. Um, tell me this, you know, a lot of people believe that, uh, you know, KSC has the power, and you heard that also from the people on the street, that they have the power, and it's almost as if they're, they're hoarding it, that they're keeping it to themselves, but it's not really possible to store electricity, is it? Can you tell us, explain no, no, to no. us a little bit about what, what that uh, dispel this myth, if you could? Uh, electricity can only be stored in batteries and you know how UPSs work, small <laughs> amounts only for limited time, so you can't run a utility with stored power. Uh, what can be done is that you have to balance the supply and demand. And uh, when people say that they have a uh, KESC has enough capacity, I think that's a misconception because the KESC own plants generate between 1200 to 1400 megawatts, the two rentals. Uh, that we have Kapal and Gul Ahmed, I think that adds another 250. So total, you at the maximum that you can come up to is about 15, 16. But at any given time, I think it's more like 1,400 uh, megawatts. Uh, they are taking up to 700 megawatts from the national grid, uh, Pepco, NTDC, Wabda, whatever. And so that adds up to between 21 to 2,200 megawatts. But believe me, the actual demand in Karachi is now in excess of 2,500 and maybe even 3,000. What we are seeing is there's a suppressed demand. There is industry, if you talk to, you had Mr. Jabbar yesterday and I think he had mentioned also that uh, industries are putting up their own power units, adding more to the cost, more to the overheads. Uh, people, small businesses are running on generators, all because Karachi Electric, there's not enough power. And to add, you know, more misery to the whole problem is that Karachi Electric, one, does not uh, store enough oil when there's no, not enough gas uh, for the Bin Qasim power station, Prangi and site and what, uh, they just don't run the units. So on that point, I think the, your input that you got from a viewer was correct. Uh, they have not been paying to Tapal as well as Gul Ahmed. So when there's a crisis or when the power is needed, 
you know, those companies need oil. If they don't get paid from Karachi Electric, so that 250 megawatts is also not available. And one would have to actually look at the daily outputs from Karachi Electric's own system and what they import from uh, Wabda and DTC and see where we are. And uh, that will give the right picture. But as far as I know, if you go back a couple of years, 2006, there was a meeting in August in the governor house. The president then was there and all the ministers and the Sindh government. And uh, al Juma had given a presentation and they had shown that they would have 400 some extra megawatt by 2008, you know, two years. Where is that 400 megawatts? So that would have taken the capacity to 2600 and the roadmap they had given is by the uh, end of 2009 and 10, Karachi Electric along with the import was going to be nearly 3000 megawatts. Now you need 3000 megawatts in a city like Karachi because you know if you have let's say the nuclear power plant 80, 100 megawatts shutting down or a small unit shutting down, you can't have the city go into darkness. So what you need to plan for is what we call spinning reserve that if a unit goes down, there is enough reserve in the system to take up that load. Oh, Mr. That Manava is how Basir. metropolitan. Well, thank yeah. you so much for, uh, for everything that you've told us here. You've made so uh, many things clear to us here on uh, Breakfast at Dawn. Mm. It's time now for us to take a really quick break. We are going to be right back after this very, very short break. Stay with us here on Breakfast at Dawn.